Hey guys, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dsoftware.com. I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we have just released Substance Painter for Lightwave Users Volume 8. Um, although we do use Lightwave in this series, I just want you to also know that uh, you can still learn a lot of stuff about Substance Painter without necessarily being a Lightwave user. Um, we show a lot of the, uh, the tools inside of Substance Painter. Uh, we do, during the series, we actually do show how to uh, export out some of these maps. Uh, and if you happen to be a LightWave user, then that's great. And we show how to set that stuff up inside of uh, LightWave, just using some very uh, basic settings. So, but in uh, today's tutorial, uh, we show how to use the uh, paint, uh, paint tools and materials to to uh, surface this uh, this sci-fi drop ship. Okay, and in the uh, volume seven, we actually uh, created the normal map, so all the uh, panelage and all the detail you see. Uh, the bumpiness, if you don't know what a normal map is, it's like a bump map on steroids. Uh, all these panels and stuff that you see carved into the surface, they're actually image maps that are created inside of Substance Painter. So if you haven't watched Volume 7, uh, it's sort of a prerequisite uh, before you watch uh, Volume 8. You don't necessarily have to, but uh, if you want to do a project start to finish like this one, you're going to want to watch uh, Volume 7. And so basically right now, uh, I'm just rotating around our... Our model so you can see that we've uh, we've painted color we've got uh, some metal edge where we have metal underneath with uh, with uh, paint that's sort of scratched on the corners and so it sort of gives that wear and tear look uh, we show how to uh, how to add stamps and, and symbols on our our spaceship and some text and we also show painting uh, dirt onto the surface. But you can see here we have these different layers and we show we go through the whole process of showing how to set all this stuff up so that we can create all this uh, nifty detail in a fairly short amount of time. Uh, stuff like this edge wear, uh, where you can see the metal uh, sort of like it's been scraped or worn off. This would take a really long time to do in uh, uh, a traditional uh, painting program. We show how to actually use some of the tools inside of Substance Painter so that we can automate this process using uh, input input maps. So if you're interested in, uh, in uh, watching this tutorial, all you got to do is uh, just go to, and we'll uh, set this up, go to www.learn3dsoftware.com and under Substance Painter, okay, we have all our Substance Painter videos. This one's volume seven. As I mentioned before, you can create your, your normal maps or it will show how to uh, create uh, normal maps inside of this training tutorial. And then we also have volume number eight, which is our, which is our uh, painting and materials volume. So we go through how to systematically paint everything down onto our surface using the, uh, the layers palette and substance painter. And then we show how to do final export of all the maps, including the normal maps, and how to set that up inside of Lightwave. And those of you who are interested in the whole series, uh, you can also uh, purchase the uh, Substance Painter for Lightwave Users bundle pack here on this page as well. So until next time, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dSoftware.com. We'll see you again soon.